go through here. This is actually just a brief tour of, of the basement. So I don't know, you could call it a cave. I, I don't know, but uh, this is pretty cool. Let me zoom in. <laughs> this is actually signed by Breeze. Um, I got this in like 2012, I think, but it was painted in 2010. And it's two of 19, and it's signed right there. And it's got like a PSA authentication thing on the back. I've got a Vic too. Um, I'm gonna put some cards into this thing. It's uh, one of my cases that I have in my shop down here. But uh, bobbleheads, and it's not like set up really. That's from the Royals won the World Series. That's a bunch of candy. Peterson bobblehead and some other randoms. And then uh, over here, this is pretty cool. Uh, Soundgarden. It's like uh, their uh, album from 91, Bad Motor Finger. It's got the album inside there and just some cool pictures. Uh, <laughs> Peterson and Vic. That's actually a custom painted one. A guy in uh, Omaha, Nebraska painted over the Falcons. Did an amazing job on that. That's the, the retro Philly uniform. Love that. Uh, what else is down here? I don't think I've ever done a tour of my basement. I don't know if it's that exciting. That's just a bunch of books. It's not that clean either down here. So this is where I watch football. Uh, so I got three TVs and a Sunday ticket. And then I've had these theater seats. There's five of them. I've had these for like eight and a half years now. And they're doing fine. A tree. Uh, inversion table. It's kind of dark back here. The uh, Vic's back in the corner there. I gotta get it hung back up. But yeah, it's signed too. Um, there's a little bar over there. But uh, yeah, this is the basement. It's not the biggest basement, but it's cool. Um, I'm gonna do the uh, vintage binder now. So, all right, guys. So this is the uh, longly awaited vintage binder. It's getting it's getting thicker. I had an order from uh, COMC come in today, and I put in the missing pieces of players that I need. So basically the whole premise of this vintage binder is I want to get Hall of Fame players. Uh, I don't know if every player is a Hall of Famer. I don't know if Joe Torre is a Hall of Famer as a player. I don't think he is. But I put him in just because he's a good manager and it, I don't know. He's a cool, seems like a cool person. But uh, so uh, it is in alphabetical order um, primarily. He's Bob Gibson's. Uh, so I think I've talked about it before, but the, the type of condition I'm looking for, um, 50s and 60s, kind of like VGEX, which is kind of like a PSA 3, 4, uh, sometimes 5, but uh, one positive I've noticed, if I get a card in that looks really clean, I just keep it and send it to PSA. If, if I get a card in that looks just kind of, I don't, I don't think it's nice enough for, for the binder, then I, I don't keep it. Like if it's got a crease going down the, the center of the card, I think that takes away from the card too much to keep it in there. So I just want decent eye appeal cards. They don't have to be like mint or even near mint, but this look decent. So I think the most valuable card in here is like a $50 Nolan Ryan. So there's nothing crazy in here, but so the first p player is Bob Gibson. And uh, I think that's 61 tops right here. So the first one I'm gonna collect is the 60. And just start from there. That just goes on all the way up to like 75 here. And I'm not sure I, that might be his last card. But um, I, I actually have a checklist that I need to update after today. So uh, Brooks Robinson, I've only got one so far, 68 tops. And then we got Yaz here. I'm um, doing actually, we forgot about Hall of Famer for the Tigers, K line. Um, I've got two of him, so if I don't have a ton of them, they're not necessarily in order. But if I've accumulated an, a nice assortment, then they are. So here's Yaz. It starts out at 63. So obviously I'm going to eventually get 62, 61. And then all the gaps you see are uh, the ones I'm missing. So, And it's actually kind of deceptive because some of the pages are blank in the background. So, So this page I'm doing great. This is 70 to... 78. I've got all all the Yazes here. That's a cool one with the sideburns. But uh, filling this one in nicely. That might be his last tops card. So and something else. I'm just looking for tops base cards. That's it. It's straightforward binder. Um, this video won't be for everyone, but I'm sure a lot of vintage guys will appreciate seeing uh, the cards, even though they're not in great condition. 
they're not in terrible condition either. I mean, all the cars in here I've kind of inspected and they've met the uh, guidelines or I don't know. But uh, there are no duplicates. O only one card of each Tops card. So I've only got one Banks card. So it's just kind of sitting here on its own page. And same with uh, Frank Robinson's not sorted in uh, any order. We got Harmon Killebrew. Looks like I've got about five of those. I'm doing really good on Joe Morgan for some reason. He's a Hall of Famer though. I think he is. So that's the year after his rookie. His uh, rookie is a, a split split screen card. I'm not a fan of those at all, so I'm, I don't really collect those. But I uh, love the Topps, Topps All-Star Rookie, and it just goes through all the years of Joe Morgan cards. So I'm doing really good on Joe Morgan, and his stuff's not expensive at all. And that might be his last one right here. That would be uh, 79. I don't know. He, he might have a couple more, but I'll have to do the checklist. And then if I'm done with Joe Morgan, then I'll just check him off the list. Uh, Joe Torrey. So I, I need to pick up some of the older Tories. That's 66, so this would be 63. 62 is the first Tory that I'll be picking up. And I've obviously got some of the later ones. Looks like he went from the Braves to the Cardinals. Not sure when his last card was. That right there is 73. <laughs> The sideburns were in style. Um, so I'm doing pretty shabby on Warren Spawn. I've got one 60 tops, which is a, a good one to have. Uh, Thurman Munson, actually a great catcher for the Yankees for like seven years. He died tragically in a plane crash. Uh, kind of like how uh, Roy Halladay did a few weeks ago. He was flying his own plane. It was just a freak accident. So this is the most expensive card in the binder. That's 60, I think that's 69 tops. But uh, that's a badass. Badass Nolan Ryan card. And I'm missing the 70. But aside from that, I've got the 71 black. Looks like I'm missing 72. And I've got pretty much the rest of the gaps filled in on Nolan. I've actually met him and watched a, a Royals game with him in a suite about six years ago. He's, he's a really cool guy. Down to earth. He had his cowboy boots on. Um, Lou Brock. Well, we got four Brocks, but um, I'll continue to build him up. Doing good on Pete Rose. I need to get the iconic, uh, what would it be, 64? 64 tops with the uh, all-star rookie badge. And then I've got uh, a bunch of blanks here in the middle. But I do have the 70 and 71. Those are both great sets. And uh, I like how they're unique in that. They're like dark colored borders. They're not white, so I think they're a little more difficult to grade. And here's some more Pete's. So I've got Pete. Later Pete's uh, filled in nicely. We got George Brett. Um, and one other rule I set forth with this binder is to kind of stop everything at 19, 1983. So the last card you'll see in the binder are 83. And that's just the way I'm doing the binder. It's not like that's the cutoff for vintage because a lot of people would say anything in the 80s isn't vintage. And in collecting, you just gotta, you got to do your own thing at some point. So here's, here's Hank Aaron. I've got two of the older ones. So that's 63 and 64. And then of course I'm missing a bunch of the old, old ones, which are a little pricier and tougher. It just takes time to get the ones in the right condition for a fair price. So this, that's why this project's so fun. So there's 67, 68. You got 70, 71. That's his last one. It's not in the order. I need to add another page. There's 75. So I'm doing good on Hank. Uh, Robin Yaunt is kind of in the same class with George Brett. His rookie was 75. i got to pick that one up. And then he'll just go through uh, 83 will be the last card on this right page. So I, I could put like some white uh, note cards. I think that's what I'll do after this so you don't see the blanks. I think that would give it a better appearance. But here is Reggie Jackson. So his rookie is 69. I've got 70. I've got him filled in nicely all these years on the A's. And then the Yankees come in. In what 77 next page Clemente I've only got two but they're both nice ones 64 what's that 65 <laughs> yeah actually I've, I've got more on the next page so I got a lot of work to do on him that's all I've got so I've got five Clemente's filled in uh, these yachts are out so I've got two pages of yachts it's a good thing I went through these so I'll uh, resort those uh, Rod Carew Looks like I've got this one. This was actually a pricier card. It was like 450. The the one of the greatest things about this binder and what makes it the most fun is it's not expensive to do. 
Um, a lot of these Karoos, you know, like 73 or 75 are probably like a dollar. And to me, look at the fatty in his mouth in this picture. Look at that fatty. So it's just, it's, it's fun collecting and not having to spend a bunch of money, basically what I'm trying to say. Just have fun with it. Uh, Tom Seaver, that's the year after the rookie, 68. So I'll go through there, I'll finish him up, I'll go through 1983 on him. I'll try to do that with all the players. Uh, I've got uh, one, one Whitey Ford, and there are some players I don't have any cards of that I still need to get going on, like Duke Snyder, Koufax. So if you guys can think of anybody else, I mean, Mantle, I would love to add him. His stuff's so expensive though. But it's almost like I need to have a mantle in here too. So I'm doing awesome on Maze. Um, I do need to go back farther though and pick up some of his his older copies. These are all that's the 61 right there. They're not in perfect order yet, so I'm just still compiling. There's the 60 right there. So I've got a bunch of Maze in here. Um, obviously, we got to have McCovey, McCovey Cove, 63, 65, 68, 69. This is cool seeing all these cards in uh, one binder. So there's some more McCoveys. There's the Washington. I think that's an an air card because he's on San Diego. Uh, Stargell, of course, was he? He's another 500 home run guy. There's some of his stuff. Doing good on Stargell. Modern Stargells are really cheap, like 60 cents a card. So I'm just picking these up quick on COMC. They're all pretty much like probably PSA fives or something. I don't know. And that's it, guys. That's the end of the binder. And then in the back, I just kind of have a a wild card section of just cool rookie cards but they don't have enough cards in this in the uh, era that I'm looking at to have them have their own page that card needs to be taken out and so does the the uh, Don Ross's keep these tops rookies in because I want it to be all tops and then we just have the uh, these cards I'm actually okay with if the both players on it are good players <laughs> basically that one I kind of slipped through um, Richie Allen I don't, I don't know a lot about him but um, these are kind of multiplayer card so that's the binder this will be the first video I'll do another one in a couple months and we'll see the progress I'll uh, add in some white note cards to the blank spots to give it a better aesthetic feel and of course I'll make like a little tops uh, something on the front of the binder so it's not just blank alright that's, that's it guys later hope you liked the video